we on? <laughs> oh dear well if you haven't already noticed we are a little bit late today for which I apologize but at least we are here here we are again yes it is another English addict live from the birthplace of English which just happens to be England <sighs> you know doing this is not easy there are moments when you just want to walk away and keep walking forever and ever and ever today was one of those moments here we are anyway hi everybody this is <gasps> mr duncan in england how are you today are you okay I hope so are you happy I really hope you are feeling happy today I'm okay not too bad cannot complain I suppose <laughs> oh <dear. sighs> 2020 when will 2020 come to an end am I the only person who is feeling completely and utterly tired of 2020 I'm sick of saying it to be honest I'm I'm tired of hearing people say 2020 if I was completely honest with you anyway here we are I'm back with you and yes we have made it all the way to the end of the weekend you can still relax you can still take it easy because it's Sunday <laughs> Oh dear it really does feel like Sunday it really does I feel like I want to go back to bed for some reason don't ask me why I have no idea why but I really feel like I would love to be back in bed if you haven't already noticed we are out in the garden today this is not a green screen just to prove look I'm going to walk into my background Ooh. very nice just to prove that we are live and I am in the garden right now I hope you are having a good Sunday wherever you are in the world mr. Steve went to see his mother today uh, yesterday not today Can anyone hear a chicken? <laughs> Is it my imagination? <laughs> Can I hear a chicken? <laughs> Is it my imagination? Is that really happening right now? <laughs> it's not my cockerel, is it? Let me just check. It's not my cockerel. No. I think it's someone else's. How strange here we go then yes it's Sunday it's a fun day it's time to improve your English I hope you are feeling all right uh, I, I have a few things going on at the moment in my life not n not least of all the fact that next week I will be another year older I will be another year older and I was talking to Steve about this a few moments ago and I was saying how strange how strange it feels to be approaching a certain age <sighs> so on Wednesday this Wednesday it will be my birthday but for some reason I don't know why this year I don't feel quite so happy about my birthday I don't know why it seems to be resting very heavily on my shoulders and also in my mind and I, I don't know why it's very strange I have no idea why anyway enough of my problems I'm sure you have your own things to think about as well enough of me by the way if you want to catch my 
live English lessons and also my live streams you can catch me on Sunday Wednesday and Friday from 2 p.m. UK time that is when I am with you on YouTube 2 p.m. UK time I am asked so many times Mr. Duncan when are you on <laughs> when can I catch your live stream <sighs> 2 p.m. UK time Sunday Wednesday Friday I think maybe I should just permanently have the times and days when I'm live on the screen just all the time even though the details are also underneath as well you see they they are underneath this video also if you want to have live captions you are more than welcome to do so you can click if you want on this click on C and yes you will have live captions <sighs> what a crazy couple of days I've had I can't begin to tell you how crazy everything has been recently it really has 2020 we cannot wait to see the back of you we really can't if you want to see the back of something it means you want to see it go you want to see it disappear you want to see it vanish you want to see it go excuse me I can definitely hear a chicken <laughs> there is a chicken <laughs> it's either in my head <laughs> or it's real can anyone else hear a chicken I hope so <laughs> oh we have the live chat oh thank goodness for that I have something else to talk about besides chickens we have the live chat oh hello everyone on the live chat nice to see you here as well <laughs> congratulations Vitas wow Vitas you are having a great week not only are you the latest moderator you are also the first person on today's live chat <laughs> do I seem distracted I think so do you ever have one of those days where you feel very distracted by things that's what I feel at the moment I'm feeling very distracted <laughs> I might just go back to bed to be honest I might it's it's turning out to be a very strange period of time for me I don't know why oh hello Mary hello Wafe hello Unicorina thank you very much for joining me today some people say that this is easy some people say Mr Duncan what you do is so easy you just stand in front of the camera and talk uh, can I just say this is not easy this might be one of the hardest things that you ever have to do in your life and that is stand in front of a camera live talking and that's what we're doing today oh hello from France hello lolly lolly a big bonjour to you as well unfortunately I don't have my echo today we are talking about puns it's an interesting word puns what is a pun pun p u n pun means a word that is used in a humorous way other than its usual use however quite often we will slip it into a sentence or into a joke so a pun is a joke that is using a word in an unusual way or in a humorous way we will talk about that a little bit later on we also have mr. Steve here as well it would not be Sunday without mr. Steve it really would not hello also Maria 
Maria, I'm saying hello to Maria. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, Alessandra. Hello also to Beatrice. Hello. Oh, we have some new people on. Hello, Just Variation. I think you've been here before, haven't you? Your, your name seems slightly familiar. Just Variation. Hello, Amina as well. Hello, Amina. Nice to see you here. <laughs> there are some very strange conversations taking place on the live chat. I think everyone, everyone is going slightly crazy during this period of time. Uh, and I think it might be happening to me. I think this is it. I think this is how it starts. You just start to feel as if you're you're losing control of everything around you. So maybe it's happening to me right now. <laughs> You're missing Steve, says Bella. Hello, Bella. Nice to see you here as well. It feels feels like a long time since I said hello to you. Also, hello, Bella. Nice to see you as well. Now, last week we were talking about the English language. In fact, we were talking about origins of certain words and also the way in which they're used. I thought it would be interesting to play a video. Now, I was going to show this last week, but I didn't have time. So we are going to take a look at a video where I talk all about the origins of the English language. And then hopefully in a few moments, we will be back with you. And yes, Mr. Steve will be here. Oh, by the way, also later, we are going to play the sentence game. Oh, so lots of things still to come today. Don't go away. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. I have a question for you. When is an English word not an English word? When it's a foreign word used both inside and outside the language? In today's lesson, we are going to look at those words that may sound foreign to non-English speakers, but are commonly used by many native speakers every day, in some cases without them even realising it. Confused? Not for much longer, I hope, as we take a look at what I like to call for English. The English language has become one of the most spoken in the world. It has been described by some as a global language. Over the years, it has been viewed as a language of freedom and a symbol of oppression. Its use is still on the increase and remains an ever-dominating medium on the world stage. Having said that, to describe English as a unique language would be a misnomer, as we will be finding out today. Even modern spoken English regularly contains words taken straight from other languages some examples of which we will take a close look at later. But first, let's take a close look at how it all started with a brief history of the English language. The English language was formed in four distinctive stages. In its original form, we usually refer to it as Old English. This is the earliest form of the language, which was created between 500 and 1100 AD by the invaders of ancient Britain from southern Denmark and Jutland, who were known as the Angles. The Angles, along with the Saxons and Jutes, spoke a language which in modern times became known as Old English. The word English comes from Angles, the land of Angles, which is where we get England. You could also see this influence in the French word l'Angleterre. There were four distinctive dialects of Old English. Northumbrian, Mercian, West Saxon and Kentish, all of which were related to the different regions of early England, which still exist today as Northumbria, Mercia, Wessex and Kent. The next big change came with the Norman Conquest, led by William the Conqueror, who invaded England in 1066 AD. With this invasion came a new language, 
This time the integration of the French language occurred, which formed into what we now call Middle English. Through the changes caused by the realignment of power, the language of Latin was also integrated into English. The romancing of the English language was by then well underway. In fact, the Roman influence had occurred earlier, albeit in a small way after the introduction of Christianity to England during the 7th century. It is worth noting that even at this time, the English spoken bore very little resemblance to the language we use today. But its influence on modern English cannot be ignored. A large portion of modern English words are, in essence, foreign words, which came into being during the early invasions by the Anglo-Saxons and the Vikings. From 1204 AD, a division formed. This was due to the fall of Normandy and King John to the King of France. This caused a division between France and the English Normans. The ruling class by this time were known as the nobles. The next big change occurred after the Great Plague, which wiped out a huge portion of the population and led to a surge in the so-called labouring class. These events led to another surge in the use of English as a common language. Middle English had taken hold of the country and would go on to develop yet again into what we now refer to as Early Modern English. With this came the period known as the Renaissance. It signalled the birth of modern literature, philosophy and science, which would go on to shape not only this country but also many parts of the world. From this would come what we now refer to as Modern English. People often ask me why I'm so fascinated by a language I have spoken all my life and use daily. Why am I not bored of hearing English spoken all the time? This would be a fair question. My love of English comes from not just how it is used, but from how it came into being used. English is more than a language. It is an essence of all which came before. It carries with it traditions, thoughts and ways of living from over the past 900 years. The changes that have occurred indelibly left their marks on this language. As wars and invasions were carried out and attitudes altered, so the language changed too. The marks left by the Romans, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings and the many rulers of this country ever since have shaped the way in which English is used right up to this very day. The historical impact of English remains with us. New countries were formed through this language, sometimes by choice and sometimes not. The modern use of English does more than merely allow dialogue to take place. It gives us a common ground. It serves as a means for us to understand each other. As I have said before, whether we agree or disagree with each other is irrelevant. The important thing is that we are all talking. Oh, did you enjoy that? I hope so. There it was. <laughs> Dear. I think I might just go back to bed, to be honest. So for those wondering about the history of the English language, there was the history of the English language in in around about seven minutes. Wow, that's incredible. A thousand years of English <laughs> in seven minutes. I am really thinking of going to bed. Oh, there he is, everybody. Yes, a round of applause, please. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duncan. Hello, Mr. Steve. How oh. are you today? How am I? I'm terrible. I am having a terrible day. Wow. I, I can't begin to tell you how bad 
my day is going but I know that there are people in the world who are having far worse days so I shouldn't complain even though I really want to I want to complain so much I want to climb to the highest mountain or maybe get onto the roof of the house and I want to shout all of my complaints well I will make you a nice cup of tea and uh, toast you a tea cake that sounds good in about an hour and 20 minutes i like the sound of that <laughs> to be honest and uh well i think it's going to be a good week though isn't it mr duncan <laughs> it really is isn't there a special event coming up this week oh, i'm not sure if it's special that's <laughs> one of that's one of the reasons why i'm feeling down today to be honest i mean it's my birthday on wednesday but for some reason i don't know why this year i feel strange about it I, I was talking to you earlier, wasn't I? You away were. away from here, but I was talking to Steve. <laughs> yes, we do talk sometimes when we're not on here. Deep, <laughs> meaningful conversations. Deep conversations about the meaning of life. But I was thinking, yes, on Wednesday, I'm another year older. But the thing is, it seems weird this year because I suddenly feel as if I'm approaching old age it's very strange but so, do you think about it mr duncan you're actually another year older today as well <laughs> compared to this time last year so it's just a number yes i know but trying to make you feel better it's not necessarily the number but it's just that feeling because now i'm starting to remember in my childhood when when relatives were the same age as me so i can remember when my grandparents we're approaching the age that I'm approaching. That's really weird. That does feel strange. So I'm now approaching that age. Really? I didn't know you were that old, Mr. Duncan. Well, you don't know what I'm talking What? <laughs> you must know what I'm on about. Too late for me to find somebody else? Well, when I was a child, <laughs> but when you're a child, your, gran your grandparents are not, are not 90, are they? They're in their late 50s or, or early 60s. And then suddenly you find yourself in the situation where you are approaching that same age. But it's, it's just dawned on me. It seems strange. Well, you. It's just dawned on me that you're getting old, Mr. Duncan. Yes. And I'm still looking young and youthful. Well, I'm not about looks. I'm there must about, be, you I'm know. about your, your actual age. I need to evaluate everything in my life now that... You suddenly made it very aware to me that I'm actually living with somebody who's getting on in years. Yes. Whereas I'm still youthful and in my 30s. Well, that doesn't make sense because you're, <laughs> you're older than me. I know. I'm only joking. Mr. Steve Duncan. is older than me. But but so so you have one next year. You have a birthday next year, which might be described. La, 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 la. Well, I wonder what you were doing there. <laughs> <laughs> no i've got no birthday coming nothing significant i'm 30 aren't i next year 30 yes. well yes. i wish i was so on wednesday it's my it's my birthday but i really don't feel good about it it's strange i don't think i've ever had ever even when i when i was 50 it didn't really bother me it's strange i i became 50 and I thought, that's nothing. It doesn't feel that bad. But for some reason, this Wednesday, my birthday this Wednesday, makes me feel a little strange. Because I'm starting to realise that I remember my grandparents. So not my parents, but my grandparents being the age that I'm sort of approaching. I know I'm, you know, five years away from it, but I will be 55 on on wednesday 55 you don't look it mr Duncan. but that's i don't care about looking it <laughs> i don't care if i look it or not maybe we should ask our lovely viewers who it's, are uh, you know approaching this difficult age well i wouldn't say it's difficult it's not difficult for everyone i know well maybe but we could get advice from people. Just, maybe people please give yes. mr duncan some some advice some uh, words of support and comfort it's just strange uh, during this difficult time uh, no, nothing's going to help me trust me no, no words of comfort or support are going to help me because it just feels it feels weird and i'm one of those people who feels things in a very strange way sometimes things that seem like nothing to other people affect me deeply 
uh, and, and sometimes it's very hard to explain it and this is one of those things that's really affected me over the past couple of days I've been thinking about being 55 54 nothing it's like water off a duck's back 55 I'm thinking oh that's strange because I remember when my grandparents were were in their late 50s in 60s in their early 60s so suddenly I'm approaching that age back then people so looked older <laughs> it, it doesn't work like that <laughs> <laughs> your, your grandparents seemed older than their years mm. didn't they because I, I think they'd led hard lives yes that isn't life was tougher then. yes I, I still don't think anyone's understanding what I'm on about it's, I think it's not understand. it's not that you don't it's, want to get old no it isn't even that it's bizarre Is isn't it the it? number no it's it's the correlation I'm on about the correlation of of my young years I hope someone understands what yes, I mean. I, think I know what you're saying. Yes. And now, and I remember, I remember my grandparents. So that's what I'm trying to express. My grandparents, I remember them being this old, but the passage of time but, occurs so slowly no, and gradually. We nothing. don't really appreciate it, and then suddenly no, we're in that position. It, that's what you're saying, isn't it? No, it's nothing to do with that. What are you saying then, Mr. What it Duncan? is 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 my 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 perception as a child of someone who was this age was like they were ancient and old. So it, it was really the perception. So so I I'm now aware that people will look at me. So if a person who is I don't know. 16 or 20 and they look at me they are going oh 55 oh that's like my grandparents that's like an old person and that's the bit I think that's the part of it so you I think that people are looking at you and saying you're old enough to be my grandparents I think it's really the, the cold fact so it's just the actual fact of it that I can remember in my own life looking at people of this age that I'm at now and thinking oh that's old I wonder what it's like being that old and suddenly and now here I am <laughs> I'm about to cross some sort of strange threshold as I'm now five years away from being 60 I mean that that just even saying it sounds weird it, it it's going into my ear and my brain is going what what are you talking about you idiot you, you, you're not five years off 60 but I am in I can remember my grandparents being that old and it's very weird it's a very weird feeling Lil it, makes a nice comment here okay most people now are living to a hundred hmm. so you're only halfway through it <laughs> that does not comfort me one <laughs> nothing bit. will comfort you mr. Duncan will it let's just that's, let's face it that's uh, what's going on here my uh, <laughs> I seem to be bursting you're in a state of undress what's going on here with this shirt I don't know what's it's happened appearing in such a such a disgraceful state in front of your lovely pupils I've just realized that I'm I'm naked under this shirt well it's it's too warm to be wearing anything underneath mr duncan it is uh it's far too hot and muggy today can you believe it i've got through today's live stream without mentioning the weather at all and, and now we're going to mention it it's hot i feel like i'm in the jungle it's like a tropical rainforest here it's so humid we are having some of the most bizarre weather last night Maybe last night or the night before as well. It was it was about 23, 24 degrees overnight. Yeah, that's a lot for us. That's high. That's tropical. That's high for us, Mr. It's Duncan, bizarre. It? Yes. It's very, very weird. What are we talking about today, Mr. Duncan? We would like to know. <laughs> we what are subjects. We are, are talking offer. We are talking about puns. Do you know what a pun is? It's it's a it's something humorous, isn't it? Yes, it's a humorous play on words. So you take a word, you take some some word, and what you do is you you put an put a humorous spin on the word. So you might say that a pun is word playing. So you are playing with words. So sometimes you will take a word and you will use it in another sentence in a different way. A different way or or with a different context of some sort so pun is just a play 
on a word you take a word and you will try to associate it with something else but it is done in a humorous way can you show us an example mr duncan i'm sure you have examples set up for us to view okay here's a good example here's an example of a pun pun <laughs> p u n you can see it above me pun so people like to make puns that's what you do you see you make a joke you make a pun you come up with a funny joke using words so here's one steve what sweet food do music composers like what sweet food do music composers like so this is actually a pun so remember that we are using a word that that is kind of making a joke by being used in another way so that, is it a word that like has two meanings yes or, or of course it can be just a word that's said in a certain way so it's not always spelt the same either so don't forget that it's not just a word that is spelt exactly the same way sometimes it might be another word that is given a different meaning as well so it's it's a pun it is it seems simple but it isn't it's not a basic simple thing it's actually quite complex <laughs> so that is what i'm trying to get across today we are trying to get across the the puns puns well let's see the answer mr duncan and then maybe we can uh, maybe we can understand further so that's why i'm showing this one just to give you an example of a pun so what sweet food do music composers like what sweet food so so think of think of what we're talking about there we're talking about music composers so something to do with music and it's sweet yes or it... of course composers all oh, right okay. oh, you see so that's where the joke is so the actual joke is relying on sweet food and music composers so what you're looking for there is a word or maybe a famous composer ah, whose name sounds like something sweet you see yes it's a good one i like this one <laughs> so this is one i thought up this morning in my tiny little brain oh i see this is something that you've uh, discovered or made up yourself i've i've made up myself using my oh, tiny so brain so clever he's so <laughs> clever i wish I don't even know what iota means tell us the answer mr duncan i didn't know that iota is the ninth letter of the greek alphabet well, i didn't know that no uh, so now i am officially stupid apparently because but we only know we, there's only a few greek uh letters that we tend to know yes. so unless you're a greek scholar you probably wouldn't know the answer to well, that. well what's interesting is in the united states of course what they do is they have they ha they use as as i understand it they use the greek alphabet for their for their house names in the university their varsity names oh right now i might be wrong there because we don't do that here we don't have that sort of thing here you see anyway we don't know much about uh, the greek alphabet in this country no. i would say unless you're classically trained you might say it's all uh, greek to me that's that is a phrase that we use yes here to to mean something we don't really have any comprehension or understanding about something confusing when when maybe you read it or something you listen to and you don't understand it you might say it's all greek to me anyway here is our pun <laughs> what mm. sweet food has anyone actually uh well beethoven is a composer uh beethoven it isn't beethoven so I don't, i've never heard of a food called beethoven you could ah oh, i've thought of one what what vegetables do music composers like oh well shall we do this one first that could be beet oven oh yeah as in beetroot yeah anyway mm. <laughs> i've just made one up mr duncan yeah so let's see what it is so that people get an idea of, of what yes. we're doing okay then you, you could have said what composer do do people take fishing with them and you could say bait hoven you see because bait you put bait on the end of your fishing rod so then i just made that up instantly that, that's it bob we're trying to yes so, faster mr duncan so faster maybe i'm not as stupid as i think here we go then ready yes schubert ah you see 
Schubert, which sounds like sherbet. Yes, you see there. Which you is see what we sweet, did. You see sweet powder that you <laughs> sherbet. Yes, so what? sherbet is is white powder, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's a very sweet. It's well, it's sweet and it's very sour as well at the same time. Sherbet. So, what sweet food do music composers like? They like sherbet because it sounds like schubert the composer schubert see it also sounds like sherbet the sweet confectionery mm. uh, that uh, children often eat which ruins their teeth yes so schubert so we're looking for a word that yes as you say it sounds like something else but it's also got a double meaning at the same time yes and sometimes the spelling is different but yes. you are you are still using that word in a humorous way so even though schubert is not spelt the same as sherbet it still works because it, it sounds close that's it it sounds close to it like my beethoven you see my yeah. beethoven joke so what which composer or what composer do people who go fishing enjoy and you could say beethoven because they use bait even though the spelling of the word is completely different so the pun works in that way what about i can think of another one around uh, beethoven mr duncan okay then well, uh, well but that's the answer though isn't it <laughs> that's not really the pun the well pun. you could use the the last phrase oven to sound like oven yes and you could say what do uh, what do uh, composers like to cook their cakes in in, in the bait oven in the bait oven yes mm. You see that that's a that's a pun. Yeah, sounds like Beethoven, but it's Beethoven. Mm. Bella says Does that, that work? Bella says you're wrong because the shoe bit is spelt different. I think I just explained that, didn't I? It doesn't always have to. You see, sometimes you use words that aren't spelled the same, so you are still making the joke. So a pun is not always the word being spelt exactly the same. Maybe also the way you pronounce it or say it. So yes. what sweet food? I can't believe we're doing this for so long. <laughs> I've got about 20 more. <laughs> what sweet food do music composers like? Schubert, you see, Schubert. It's it's doesn't have yeah, as long as it sounds the same and yes. that's the joke. Yes. Right, let's have another one and get get, get people an idea of what we're doing. <laughs> I thought that would be a good idea, but but we need a few more, I think. I think we need about another 100. So here's another well, one. Well, it's a difficult concept to, to, to grasp. Maybe. It is, even for us. <laughs> and I'm explaining it. <laughs> Here we go, Steve. Ah, so another pun. Word playing. Playing on words. Play Either the spelling or the pronunciation. OK, so this one is not a question. This one is actually just an actual sentence. So you will see the sentence and then we will explain why it is a pun. Are you ready? The owners of a savoury preserve factory were caught avoiding tax and now they are in a pickle. <laughs> you see? <laughs> what was that? That was a fake laugh. OK, then that's brilliant. I could do with some real <laughs> laughter, to be honest. Let's get some real laughter. Can we have some real laughter? <laughs> that's yeah, so... Uh, Yes, you can see that what's going on there, can't you? Yes. So in that particular example of a pun, uh, which I'm sure will be back on the screen very shortly. There it is. Uh, so a savoury preserve factory. So savoury preserves, mm -hmm. if we need to explain that. Yes, it's normally something that is preserved, maybe a type of vegetable or something that is preserved in vinegar. It could be sauerkraut it could be a pickled onion yes it could be a pickle some kind of pickle well yeah that's it well I'm just explaining that's yeah, it. what that is so savory preserve is something that is preserved in vinegar maybe a vegetable so of course you would describe that as pickle a pickle is a type of savory preserve yes so so it is another way of saying that exact word savory preserve Pickle. If you pickle something like an onion, you put it in vinegar mm -hmm. and it preserves it. Pickling preserves something in vinegar. So the pun is also the word pickle. So pickle 
can also mean a difficult situation or an awkward situation so the owners of the savory preserve factory the people who make the savory preserve <laughs> have been caught avoiding tax and now they are in a pickle because if you don't pay your tax you will get into a difficult situation with the government and so you would be in a pickle a difficult situation but pickle also means a savory preserve hmm. so that's the joke yes so you can see now how the word play is used i don't think schubert was a good example but i thought it was it made me laugh anyway i was laughing this morning when i was sitting on the toilet i was having a right good laugh the owners of a savory preserve factory so what we're saying there is pickle factory you see so that's why you see but you never give the answer away you normally use an alternative word or sentence to make the joke appear at the end so that is really how a pun works so you can see that there is an interesting construction taking place here you give a clue to what the joke is without saying it which of course makes the actual pun more humorous quite often you get these sort of jokes in a in a christmas cracker yes so when you're pulling a cracker at christmas uh or well let's not say christmas let's say a celebration mm. pulling a cracker inside there will be a plastic toy and uh a, a joke yes and quite often they're puns yes so there will be, there will like be a play on words so yes i think that's quite a good one a, a, a common prank that some some kids do is they will phone one of their neighbors and they will they will ask them is your is your fridge is your refrigerator running and then the person says yes and then they say you better hurry up and catch it then you see that is also a pun so yes. you are saying running means functioning but of course running also means running away moving away normally on foot so yes so that's how a pun works okay let's have a look at another one uh, we're getting into it now steve we are i think we're finding it now <laughs> people are talking about seinfeld for some reason because of the laughter oh i see we canned have canned laughter the canned laughter. laughter so i will press that again even though it makes everything disappear here we go here's the canned laughter <laughs> that's it we could do with lots of that today to be honest we could do with lots maybe of maybe later canned laughter if i was honest so let's put those back up here's another one would you like another pun okay oh it's a question Ooh. what does a dog in long trousers do on a hot day what does a joke okay yes it's a pun it's a joke but it's a pun so we are that using of... we're using a word that can have more than one meaning what does a dog in long trousers do on a hot day we'll give you 30 seconds to come up with some suitable answers <laughs> it's got to be funny yes and it's got to be a play on words yes is so, it a word that's got two meanings uh, yes right okay well th the clue is actually there the, the clue is literally staring in the face that's another thing about puns quite often the answer to the pun if it's a question is is actually normally staring you in the face so dog think of dog long trousers hot day a hot dog wearing long trousers so so it's there it's like a it's like a beacon going beep beep but you beep, just need beep. to sometimes you can't just think of it mm. it's not obvious unless you think about it yes what does a dog in long trousers do on a hot day mm. um I'm, th I'm i'm trying to think what what would he do take them off uh but there's nothing funny in that in that uh yes mm. someone said hot dog hot dog but what does the dog do not, not what not, is he no not what it is called what he would be hot mm. he would be a hot dog yes but what's he going to do he's actually going to do yes. something that's funny that is a pun yes uh and and the clue is is in the whole thing the whole thing is giving you the answer this is actually quite a good one i like this one because it's really it really does define the essence of of what a pun 
is what does a dog in long trousers do on a hot day <laughs> well mr duncan okay. no one's come up with the answer yet no here we go then uh, we might have some laughter as well shall we have some laughter when i give the answer well, okay. somebody just said it's very contagious to have uh, sound effect laughter i think so as well i agree <laughs> the answer is <laughs> oh dear i like this one what does a dog in long trousers do on a hot day mr steve are yes. you ready for the answer it pants ah you see it pants pants because trousers pants is another word for trousers yes so <laughs> that's a panting dog yes so the trousers are pants and the dog when it's hot it pants, <laughs> pants. so that the, the word pant means to breathe heavily and deeply quite often a dog will do that when it's hot so this actually is quite a clever pun this is like opening a safe you have to listen to the combination you see it's like it's like turning the the dial on the safe you're trying to to unlock the pun what does a dog in long trousers do on a hot day it pants you see Pants. I think few people are having having little difficulty understanding this. So maybe you know a few more. Yes. We will. We you make you'll get the hang of it. Maybe it's the way I'm saying it. Let's maybe do you do something. I wonder if in other languages the same thing happens, where you've got words that maybe spelt differently but sound the same, mm. or just one word with several meanings, and you turn it into a joke. They're just it's just a joke, but we call them puns. I think you can. I think you can actually have yes them in other languages as well so i think i think they do exist definitely I, I, i'm pretty sure they exist maybe it's the way i'm saying it what does a dog in long trousers do on a hot day it pants <laughs> maybe that's it maybe it's better when i have the can laughter <laughs> let's see another one mr duncan shall i have another one yes ah here's another one what did the bowl say to the sexy plate oh yes you see again ah, the answer the bowl yes do to the sexy plate yes so think again the answer is right there it is actually there staring right at you the answer but again the pun is using words what did the bowl say to the sexy plate so it's already funny even it's... before we've got the answer because you've got the concept going on that uh, that bowls and plates are somehow admiring each other that's it and seeing each other as attractive which yeah. is funny in itself yes many puns are actually abstract so you might find that that you will use abstract situations when you are making a pun so here's a good example of an abstract pun. What did the bowl say to the sexy plate? So think carefully what's happening there. You have a bowl and you have a plate that is looking very ooh, sexy. Which obviously is ridiculous in itself because there's no such thing as a sexy plate. But you can imagine in your mind what you're picturing is a bowl yes. that is looking at a plate and finding it yes. attractive. And that's funny, even before you've got the answer to the joke. I've seen some sexy plates. I've, I've seen some sexy spoons. Have you ever seen a very sexy spoon? No. It's sort of, oh, hello. Must have a bowl. It's something you eat out of, a bowl. Bowl. It's a th it's a bowl. It's a bowl. It's like that. It's normally made of pottery yeah. or, or wood, of course. Eat your cereal or your soup mm. out of a bowl. Bowl. So it is a thing for eating from normally soup or maybe your morning cereal or in Mr. Steve's case, in Mr. Steve's case, his porridge, you see. Which in... is cereal, of course. Cereal, yes. Uh, so what's the answer mr duncan i can't think what, what the answer is mr duncan what did the bowl say to the sexy plate so it must be a word that's 
somehow connected with, uh, I would imagine, it's something to do with plates or, or cutlery or so it's going to be related to, to that. Hmm. Those other two objects, okay, isn't that, it? So what have we got? Bowl, we've got plates. Yes, and sexy. You uh, see, sexy is the, you know, something attractive, something that looks nice. You go, ooh. ooh, ooh yes, ooh. Tomic, you're right. You do, you've got to have, you know, quite a high level of English, maybe, and a high vocabulary mm. to maybe... But, with, you know, this is all education. Yes, it's not really a test. I'm not testing your English. We are actually talking about the concept of jokes and puns. So normally these will come very quickly, you see. People tell puns or tell jokes very quickly. So we are going slowly through them to show how they are constructed. Well, people are having a go. Hmm. Yes, that's good. Yes. But not... Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Anna Rita says, are we a couple? Oh, you see, are we? A Is couple? that a pun? Uh, not 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 necessarily in that case, but yes, it, I know what yes. you mean. I know what you're saying. Here we go, then. Are you ready for the answer? Even Mr. Steve doesn't know. I thought you would get it, to be honest. I'm not very good at uh, thinking on my feet. What did the bowl say to the sexy plate? You are quite a dish. Ah. Oh, of yes, course. you see. That deserves some laughter, I think. <laughs> it would work the other way round as well. What did the plate say to the sexy bowl? Hmm. It would work the other way round. So a, a dish is is a, it's another form of, of, of something that you, you could eat out of. Hmm. Um well, a plate, you see, this is where, again, you have to explain the meanings. Well, plate can also be a dish, you see. So a plate can also be described as a dish. We can also use the generic term dish for anything that we eat from. So that is one thing to bear in mind. So this, again, is a little bit more complicated because you are using a word that can be used in more than one way. So a plate is a flat Thing that you eat from and the bowl is something that looks like that however they can both be described as dishes yes which, which which is a generic term so that word dish can be used in many ways including when you say something is attractive you can say someone is oh what a dish quite often a male maybe a man Maybe a woman is looking at a man or maybe a man is looking at another man going, oh, oh, what a dish. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's he's quite a dish. Yes, it, it means an attractive man, doesn't mm. it? So in this pun, in this joke, what did the bowl say to the sexy plate? You are quite a dish. And of course, when we say that and, and of course, a bowl and a plate are both dishes. Hmm. Uh, because when you wash the dishes, mm. you're washing cups. That's it. Plates, yes. bowls, yes. anything made of crockery like yes. that. So that's why it's generic. It's so, a generic so term. The, so the word dish can be used in more than one way as, as a generic term for anything you eat from. Or, of course, a plate can also be described as a dish. So you hand someone a dish. Normally it's flat with a slight shallow centre. Sometimes you, you cook things in the oven on a dish. Maybe a baking dish or, or a stewing dish. Something that you can put food on. They've got these in Italy. A couple of people have mentioned that. And they're also they're called uh, fredure. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but the puns in Italian is is fredure. Fredure. So thanks for that. Good. Thank you very much for that. It's very kind of you. Uh, what so, dishes are you, Mr. Duncan and Mr. Steve? Says Bella. Thank you. Well, you could have just said you're a couple of dishes. May, that would have I, been nice. I think I'm a chamber pot. Something. Something was biting me then, Mr. Duncan. It wasn't me. Uh, I know it was some kind of insect. If I was a type of dish or a piece of uh, the pottery, maybe I would be a chamber pot that people put under their bed and they have a little wee wee inside it during the night. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I don't know really so what did the bowl say to the sexy plate you are quite a dear <laughs> yeah, you see there you go <laughs> I wonder if people are getting sick and tired of hearing the laughter here we go then here's another one another question Steve will we be playing the sentence game later yes we will be and we are playing with where is it <laughs> we are playing with the letter M M for Mr. Steve you see or Mr. Duncan or Mr. Duncan M so not W I know some people might think it's W if the if you're standing on your head at the moment maybe you are standing standing on your head it's not W today it's actually M so you have to put yourself the right way round, or turn your monitor upside down and then you will see it properly so th so there it is M M for m mother you went to see your mother yesterday I did did you have a good time yes yes I did <laughs> of course I did how do elephants phone each other how do elephants phone each other so these are when you when you talk about puns as jokes like this they're they're uh, intentionally bad jokes yes aren't they? sometimes a pun is bad so you might not laugh you might just go oh, oh. but it's still funny because it's creating a bit of humor hmm. they're almost you almost know the answers you when people hear the answers to puns they normally go oh hmm. and then laugh a bit yes it's just it's just helps with conversation you know it's just funny just hmm. a bit of humor yes so how do elephants phone each other ah i think i know the answer to this one yes Mr. Duncan. i think so the clue once again the clue is right there and that's the wonderful thing about puns quite often if you're you're asking a person a question and it involves making a pun <laughs> quite often it is right in front of you how do elephants elephants phone phone each other how do elephants phone each other so it's there you see the answer is already there and sometimes you have to just tune in with your people have got it oh okay that's good that was quick that didn't seem like a 30 second delay maybe it was on the screen for a while it was on the screen for some time and he's got it lean has got it well done <laughs> i think uh, yeah the, yes so quite a few people yeah i've got the yeah so elephants obviously have let's give the answer shall we mr duncan yes. i think it's out there <laughs> i think this is getting boring everyone's saying for goodness sake mr duncan stop doing this here's the answer and I, i'm hoping we have some laughter as well oh yes <laughs> i'm making a trunk call of course that's a popular one to turn up in a christmas cracker yeah how do uh, elephants phone each other by making a trunk call <laughs> obviously they've got trunks but a type of telephone call is also called a trunk call but of course we don't really use that phrase anymore it's a very no. outdated phrase yes. to talk about uh, telephoning somebody yeah i don't know what a trunk call used to i think it was like was it like long distance that's it you have to be you had to be put through on an extension so if you f if you wanted to phone someone abroad or long distance they would have to connect you in a certain way so a trunk call would be extended so trunk just means extend so oh, something nice. that is truncated is lengthened hence the elephant's trunk you see i think i'm i'm demonstrating that very well with my hand do you like that i've already done it but yes. you can almost see the trunk coming from my face so it's something that it's, it's like an extension so if you you can have so a trunk call would have been in the past as you say you'd have had to some lady sitting at a con at, at a at a desk would have had to plug something in to mm. make it go further yes. and extend the call to, to a longer distance yes not necessarily through an exchange though sometimes you mm. just press a number on your phone and it will extend or maybe a code you see so now we have dialing codes which allow us to phone long distance but in the past you couldn't do that and it also can you remember steve when phoning abroad was horrendously expensive if you phoned so for example if you live here in in england and you wanted to phone australia 
in the 1970s it would cost a fortune per minute it would be a, an eye-watering amount of money wouldn't it it would be so there it is a trunk call of course trunking trunking if you've got trunking mm -hmm. uh, that's something that contains something isn't it so it, like a trunking for electrical wires yes it's long it's it, a long it, extension it goes it goes along the wall or the side of the wall and the wires are hidden inside, inside. trunk but it trunking. was that was like for an extension mm. So there you go. So I hope I uh, hope you're getting the hang of this. Yes. Uh, any more? Um. Mm. Oh, Carlos has said, uh, "Hey, Carlos, very good, Carlos." Another answer could be on the elephone. <laughs> yeah, I like that. that well does, done. That you know what that deserves. That deserves. <laughs> That's proper. That's proper. That is, you've just made up a very good <laughs> I like that um, one. pun there. On the elephone. On the elephone. The elephone. Sounds like telephone, but it's elephone. Yes. <laughs> you, yeah, you could have said, uh, yeah, how do elephants phone each other on the elephone? Yeah. Well oh. done. Here we go. Congratulations. Chuan Yuin says, I hate this live stream. <laughs> it's always hate is a very strong word it's always nice to hear from the fans it's a very strong word hate i hate this live stream first i wasn't the person who is chatting with you on the live chat then everyone doesn't realize that i am very respected to learn grammar and new words i don't know why you're so annoyed how are we annoying you i know normally we are quite annoying at the best of times but yes we're all here we're all here to learn everyone is sharing the we're experience everyone yes. when you walk down the road when you walk down the high street in your town does does everyone give you a round of applause as you walk down the road well no it doesn't happen you see because that doesn't happen because we're all pretty much the same no one here is more special than anyone else including us we are just human beings walking around on the planet like little ants on a hill you see so Ooh. so we're not we're not any better so so you don't have to accuse us of leaving people out i don't know why we, we seem to be a, i was i was attacked the other day it's very difficult because the live stream is very busy and we're I, trying to talk i was attacked it's difficult to keep an eye on all everything everyone's saying and if we commented on everything every, everybody said yeah. that's all we do yes but maybe maybe uh, you're doing it for attention in which case it's worked <laughs> you see you've yes. got our attention but please don't criticize Palmyra's us. going okay see you Palmyra. She's going to see you on wednesday wednesday yes we are here on wednesday because on wednesday something happening on wednesday mr duncan it's my birthday on wednesday okay we have oh we have some more puns and then we are going to play the sentence game the sentence game is coming up please don't shout at me a lot of people saying they're loving this live stream so it's thank just you for that yes i i know I, I know i'm not sexy i know i don't have beautiful pert breasts <laughs> pardon mr duncan this is what people want you see apparently on youtube what what people want now on YouTube? They want sexy people. They don't want us. They want they, they don't want to stare at two mouldy old men. They Speak want, for yourself. They Mr. want Duncan. they want to see glamorous women with lipstick. Well, and, maybe uh, they, we could drag up. Yes. Well, I don't think that would help the situation. It'd be interesting. It though. would not help the situation. I think we would lose everyone if you drag up. <laughs> yes. That means a man dressing as a woman. Yes. Uh, let's, let's we're not, not going to do that don't worry yeah let's not we're go not going to do okay that. steve let's not go there because that is Just a, explaining what it meant because this yes i know but English. let's not let's not go there it's 2020 2020 and everyone everyone is hypersensitive you can't you can't make a joke anymore that unless unless of course it's a pun maybe like, uh Okay. Chewing Jen isn't isn't saying he hates it, just just sort of not liking it as much. And anyway, let's move on. Tuan Yuin is the name. Tuan in, in Vietnam. I don't know why, but well, stay on for the sentence game uh, because that will be maybe more to your liking. Yes. 
here's here's another one steve another... please don't go away okay then because we love you i'll be going away in a minute here's here's another one steve oh it's steve there's a pun you have to I can't it. afford there to pay is. for the watch in one go i can't afford to pay for the watch in one go so you've got an expensive watch it's expensive you can't in one go means in one time yes it once at once so i can't pay all the money in one go in one payment so maybe i will have to pay you a little bit of money each time you see like when i bought you this watch it was an expensive watch i couldn't afford to pay for it all in one go i had to pay for it yes so ah right what's the next bit of the sentence then? yes well it's a pun so it's not a question I, there is another bit that that's I'm what i mean that's it well what is it so I can't afford to pay for the watch in one go. I can't pay for all of it now. What's the answer? Is it one word? No, it's it's the rest of the sentence. That's so I, difficult, Mr. Duncan. Well, I'm going to show you in a minute. Oh, right. I'm just, OK. Uh, well, I'm just giving a little bit of time <laughs> or else. Yes, this will be the shortest live stream ever. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't afford to pay for the watch in one go faster mr duncan faster i can't afford to pay for it all at once here comes the the pun is coming steve are you ready yes. for the it's a it's a funny one this so one you I... don't have to guess this one that you're just going to tell us yes right. well, you, you can, you, well you can guess it if you want i can't afford to pay for the watch in one go um i'm strapped for cash <laughs> that's actually quite good <laughs> strapped for cash yeah so the, the you've got a watch with a the, that's the strap well there it is that's there's a the real strap. watch the strap and if you're strapped for cash it means that you don't have very much money yes so that would work but that's not the answer not the answer you've got i can't i can't afford to pay for the watch in one go here comes the pun yes can I have it on tick? Ah, you see? Did you like that? That's a joke. Uh, well, I can't afford to pay for the watch in one go. Can I have it on tick? <laughs> but that's a, that may be a difficult word for people to know what that means. Well, it doesn't matter because I can explain it. I mean, that's what we're here to do. Explain. So if I show you a word that you don't know, I will explain it. So what we are doing here, Steve, well, I'll let you explain. OK, so what? a watch ticks, doesn't it? Tick, 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 tick. But if you if you uh, buy something and this is an old fashioned phrase, hmm. have it on tick. It means that you're you're borrowing money. You're having it on credit hmm. would be another word for that. So can I have it on tick? Can I have it on credit? Hmm. So can you maybe pay it on installments? Yes. Something every month. You're not going to pay for it all at once. So have it on tick is an old fashioned word for meaning. Uh, can I have it on credit mm. and then pay for it? Or can I have it on installment? Yes. Well, uh, nowadays it's it's the normal thing to do, isn't it? We, yes. we, 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 we buy everything without actually paying for it. So credit is actually something that's it's probably more common now than it was in the past. So if you have something on tick, it means you are having you are being allowed to pay it in small amounts over a certain period of time. We used to call it HP. Higher purchase. Higher purchase as well here in England. So that was a phrase that we used to use. But credit now is normal. And of course, it's very cheap, isn't it now? Credit because, um, you know, it's not, you can buy things on naught percent interest now. Mm. Uh, buying a mortgage now is very cheap. I mean, in the 1980s and 1990s, mm. it was, you know, you'd be paying 6, 8, maybe 12% interest on your mortgage. It's now 1.5%, 2%. I like the way uh, this has they, suddenly become a financial... To have it on tick means to not pay for it all at once, to have it on credit, yes. that's what it means. So the, so the pun, uh, the joke, is the word tick, tick of a clock or a watch tick to have something on tick means you have it on credit yes and uh, bella just to just to expand on what you said there if uh, if you're strapped for cash it does mean that you have little little money you haven't got very much at the moment somebody might say 
can I borrow £10 off you, please? And you might say, I'm sorry, I can't at the moment. I'm strapped for cash. Yep. And it means that you don't have enough spare money to lend your friend £10. It's quite a common phrase here. That's it. I've just put it on the live chat. So it's on there now forever and ever. So I have actually put it onto the live but the chat. the joke there, the pun would be because a watch has a strap. Strap. I'm strapped for cash. Mm. So you would possibly not laugh or you go, no, mm. at that, wouldn't you? But mm. it would be sort of funny. Uh, and Lewis has made a lovely comment to help support you, Mr Duncan. Lewis has says, don't think about the end of your life. Live every day, one after another, and make a smile every day when you wake up. That's that's the part I'm looking forward I to have, the most. <laughs> I have done the same thing, and I'm always happy. The, the end of my life is, is the bit that, you know, it might be a nice, you know, I might be ready for it. I might be thinking, oh, for goodness sake, I've had enough of this. <laughs> But you're normally very positive, Mr. Duncan. You're I am positive. Little, uh, yes. Think about you. You wake up. You're alive. Make the most of what you've I got. Do. That I do. I do. You do. But it's, yes. But it's strange that's how what Lewis is saying that's what hit me this week. What hit me was my own memory of remembering my grandparents being the age that I'm approaching. There was a strange. There was. It was like a spark. A spark went off in my brain that said these two things are things that you know about and you've experienced and they they do something it's a bit like when you when you smell something maybe some cakes are baking in the oven and then suddenly you remember your grandparents when you used to go to their house uh, it's that same thing it's a feeling in your brain that where two things like that they can feeling you, you've had a lot of trauma in your past mr duncan your childhood left these scars of emotional turmoil well having grandparents isn't <laughs> beginning to wonder no, uh no, nothing like that good good that's good um uh, right i was going to say something then somebody made a comment good oh yes uh, andy says uh happy people don't observe watches happy people don't look at their watches no that's true because you're having a great time or you can't always be worrying what the time is oh mm. what time is it i i've got a relation i'm not going to say who who is it uh who's always yeah some people are like this aren't they who they're a bit obsessed with time is it your mum uh, i'm not going to say that, that you know if you say i'm going to arrive at a certain 12 o'clock for example and you don't then they, they get very nervous and they get very stressed everything some people lives they have to always be by the clock yes and uh, that is stressful because when something things go wrong every day okay so you might have an appointment and something goes you can't there's traffic uh, and it's always very stressful when you're working to the clock yes so yes that's um but some people are obsessed with time they are. so it, actually i think it also becomes a little bit of a disorder in the end because then you become too obsessed with time but uh, yes yes well i have a watch just just so i know where i should be or <laughs> except today it didn't work it's just an observation it didn't work today because i was 15 minutes late <laughs> it's just an observation that andy made yes. which i think is is, uh, is 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 very valid i can't even remember what the original Lena's point is going bye bye oh, Lena. okay then <laughs> uh meet you next sunday or you could come on Wednesday. It's Duncan's birthday. <clears throat> Mr. Duncan, I should say. Sorry. Mr. Duncan, not just Duncan. I'm itching. I'm covered okay, in flies. That's great. We, we uh, seem to be straying away from the, sh from the actual <laughs> thing we're teaching today, uh, which is puns. We're talking about puns. Oh, here we go, Steve. Here's an easy one. Welcome to the brightest day of the week. Yes. Is that Sunday with your live streams? Oh, OK, Steve. That's, that's, could, you, could you not just give the answer? You know what? You know this is. <laughs> Welcome to the brightest day of the week. Come on, Mr. Duncan. What's the matter now? Well, I, I, I was asking if anyone had any idea what the answer was. Oh, that's it. That's what we're saying. I don't didn't give the answer. You away. did. You did. Well, you I literally unintentionally. Just didn't. Okay. Then. Unintentionally. I thought you'd realise. Accident. I thought you'd realise that was the answer. I okay, thought it was then. going to be something around bulbs or something like that. 
What is the, the brightest, brightest day, day of, of the, the week? week? Let's see if anybody else comes up with, well, a, with, bulb with a suggestion. Day. I don't know, but you know. Well, it's it's too late now, really. It's Sunday. There we go. Sun, you see. Well, I didn't give the answer away. You did. You said it's Sunday. Oh, right. <laughs> Sunday. Yes. So there's What's... the joke. Obviously, the sun is bright. Yes. Why is Sunday a bright day? <laughs> well, it's just the brightest day of the week. It's just the joke, you see, oh, because yes. the word yes. sun. Yes. <laughs> I, I think I Or might... you could say, what is the brightest day of the week? Yes. What is the brightest day of the week? It's Sunday. That's it. Yes. It's just basically the same joke. The same <laughs> joke, but just with a question mark. That's it. Halfway through. So I might say, welcome to the brightest day of the week. It's Sunday. And then everyone will laugh. Laugh because like... The sun is very bright. They will laugh like drains. So that's a slightly different... <laughs> <Yeah. thing. laughs> I wish you'd have pause. Just let's just pause sometimes, Steve. Pedro has said at least twice. OK. Uh, and uh, Pedro, you, you do say this quite often and I agree with you. Uh, send us a picture, don't you know, Pedro. Uh, I'd love to see you visiting landmarks of the world. Remember when we used to do that? We did it twice. <laughs> I remember. I enjoyed it. Well, you know, one of them was was Salisbury Cathedral. I still remember. And the other one was the Eiffel Tower. Have you still got your long hair, Pedro? Oh, no. The other one was, I tell you, the other one was the Statue of Liberty. I think we did three. I think we did three landmarks. And I got so bored with it because I don't oh, know was what. It, was it countries of the world, though? Is that what Pedro no. was referring to? No, I think landmarks of the world. Well, but, landmarks aren't countries. But did, did we do landmarks of the world? I don't yes. remember that. Yes, you stood in front of a green screen and I put a landmark behind you and then you talked about the place. Sorry about that. But Pedro has said before, will you do countries of the world? Because we've done that as well, haven't we? We have, yes. But yes. that's not landmarks. Well, uh, it's a completely different word. I know it is. But I think, you know, Pedro is just saying, can we do that? Well, yeah, he's, yeah. Asked for, he's asked for countries of the world and that hasn't happened. No. Now he's asking for landmarks of the world. So he's trying different ways to get you to yes. go back to things that we used to do before. Yes. I tell you what I used to do as well. I used to poo myself all the time when I was a baby. You I'll know. have a word let's with go Mr. Back, Duncan. Let's go back to doing that, shall we? Ooh. I'll Ooh, have a I word think, with Mr. Duncan. I think I've just done it. One day, Pedro, keep watching. One day it will be on. Uh, but, yes. It have was... you still got your long hair? Let let us know. Sorry? Who are you talking to now? Pedro. Oh, I see. Sorry, is this, is this like a dating app? No, we're not brothers. <laughs> a couple of people have asked that today. <laughs> oh, my God, I hope not. Uh... <laughs> Oh, here we go. Flags of the world, Mr. Duncan. Flags has been requested by guess who? Pedro. Yes. Well, you just mentioned it. No, I didn't say flags of the world. It was landmarks of the world. Maybe but, then, but then you said countries of the world. Yes, and now flag flags of the world. Well, it's just basically the same thing. But that was something else that we did. So, yes. Um, it was. There's a lot of things I used to do. I used to also uh, sit in a high chair when I was a baby. But I don't do that anymore either. Oh, we have. Uh, we, hello we to. The sentence game. Hello, Chandra Prakash or Tra Chandra Prakash. Which place is this? Welcome to England. This is England on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. It's three thirty-eight. Don't forget, we were late today, Steve. So we actually have an extra fifteen minutes. You see, I wasn't late. Well, <laughs> not for a change, just for a change, Steve was not late. Welcome to the brightest day. It's Sunday. Sunday. Here's another one, Steve. We're talking about puns. Are we doing the sentence game as well? We will be playing it soon. OK, calm down. We have plenty of time. Are we staying over a bit longer? Well, well, we're not staying longer, but it's, it's still the same length. OK. We just came on... Uh, later yes but it was it doesn't make any difference to the length of the live stream because we're still doing two hours very awkward Ooh, I, I feel i meant longer than two o'clock is what i meant well it will be because we were 15 minutes late you were, were 15 minutes yes late. Just <laughs> Sorry. clear i was on time we seem to be going around in circles <laughs> <laughs> with this conversation we're just having a bit of fun aren't we mr Duncan? okay well maybe you are 
I'm I'm uh, what are we having for tea tonight are we having chicken fish no we're having chicken tonight aren't we some fresh chicken oh yes yes, yes you know fresh. I, I fancy some fresh chicken I think so yes I would love to eat some fresh chicken tonight I think yes if, yeah, only, we, we've got if some... only there was a chicken nearby that we could we could find and, yes and, and cook oh well maybe one day do you like India do I, I like, like do I like India I like Indian food for definite we love Indian food very much can we, we? Yeah. We haven't been to India, so I can't comment on that. But obviously, Indian food. Oh, we could live on it. I could eat Indian food for breakfast, dinner and tea. And mm. in fact, when I've been on holiday in Malaysia, that's exactly what I've done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they had to replace the toilet in the hotel twice. Yes. Oh, I love... Oh. Give me, give me a nice curry any day. In fact, we had a curry on Friday, didn't we? We did. Extremely popular. Sorry, hello. Food in the UK. <laughs> uh, so the the answer is no. Culturally connected countries. The answer is no. We've never been to India. No, but, we haven't. But we like it. we like that all of the food that comes from India. But of course, don't forget, Indian food is not as spicy or as hot as we have it here. So over the years, it's been changed. Yes, it's uh, it's anglicized isn't it that, that, that indian food in fact uh when you go to an indian restaurant in the uk the uh, often sometimes you see the owner eating if you know the owner you can speak to the owner uh eating food uh maybe on a table by himself and his food is very different to the food he would serve an english person because they put more uh it's it's not a, they change the recipes for us because they think that we want it all hot and spicy yes i uh, thought i thought you were going to say beans on toast he was having beans on toast anyway here's another pun so this is a sentence so there's no answer to this steve okay so again it's another pun people who use umbrellas always seem under the weather Ah, you see. Ah, right. So yes. that 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 does not have a double meaning, but we are saying that they seem under the weather because whenever you see a person with an umbrella, they are outside and they are under the weather because they are using the umbrella to protect themselves. So they are always outside. So it doesn't mean that they're ill or unwell. So in that sense, it isn't really a pun that can be used both ways. So we're not saying that people who use umbrellas are ill. We're just saying they are under the weather. So the pun is actually under the weather because they are actually under the weather, literally. But if you say you're under the weather, it means you're not feeling very well. That's it. it. So that's another way of using it. So that particular pun does not work both ways. And again, see, there are different types of joke. You could put that another way. You could say you could have you could have met somebody with it, or you could have an umbrella up, Mister Duncan, and I could say, "What's the matter? Are you under the weather?" Hmm. And that would be funny because you are under the weather because you've I'm got just, an umbrella. I'm up. just list, listening for the laughter there. I think it's better than the way you put it. No, no laughter. <laughs> uh, yes. Here's another one, Steve. I've got a friend talking about hot, spicy food. I've got a friend, so I go out with him with a curry quite regularly to a restaurant in Wolverhampton. And uh, he will say, I, now give me a nice curry full of flavour, but I don't want the hot spiciness. I just mm. want the flavour. So you can have, if you just leave out the, the uh, chilli, you can have a nice, pleasant meal without sweating everywhere. OK. Right, OK. The police arrested me for stealing my neighbour's new turf. Yes. So when we say turf, we mean grass. So there it is all behind us. Turf is grass. Is there another part to this? Yes, there is. So the police arrested me for stealing my neighbour's new turf. The rest turf. of it goes like this. Someone must have grasped on me. Ah, you see, someone must have ah, grasped on me. Yes. <laughs> so there we go. If you obviously turf is grass, mm. 
And if you grass on somebody, it means you tell on them. Yes, you report that person. So maybe yes. someone saw you stealing their grass or their turf and they called the police, which means that they grassed on you. And oh. yes, in films, people who grass on other people. In films? Uh, well, if you grass on somebody, that's often seen as uh, not a, a good thing to do because... Uh, particularly if if it's a friend of yours maybe you had a friend and uh, they uh, saw you stealing somebody's uh, turf uh, or their grass and uh, they were a friend of yours but they felt so uh, uncomfortable with the fact that they saw you stealing that they reported you to, to the police and you mm. would say you grassed on me yes you grassed um, or you you grass someone up as well yes. is another way so quite often people who are involved in crime maybe one person will grass on the other person they will tell the police what that other person is doing so yes it's again a pun so we are using the word turf and grass you see so the pun comes from the use of those words thank you flower for your lovely comment The police arrested Mr. Duncan and Mr. Steve for stealing viewers' hearts. Oh, OK. Thank you. That's, that's very nice. Uh, um, yes, Chandra Prakash says, I have a question. Yes, you may ask any question you like. Yes, uh, I, can, I think I know what it's going to be. Uh, please ask us, yes. It's always the same question, and the okay. answer is yes. <laughs> OK. Yes. Uh, is it well if the question is are you brothers the answer would be no okay I think yeah, I right think, I think the camera is just locked up again I don't know what's happening today we seem to have some technical issues can they that? can people still hear us wait there oh <laughs> well that's <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay that's a strange effect Mr Duncan well that's interesting I, I, I'm not quite sure what's I, happening I think I've lost some weight Mr Duncan <laughs> What what's going what on? How slim you look! What's going on here? <laughs> Let me just see if I can put this right. This we... is definitely live. If anyone had any doubts as to whether this was a live stream or not, we certainly look interesting. Uh, are we at the fair, Mister Duncan? Are these uh, distorting mirrors? I don't know what's going on. Front of. <laughs> it's the puns, Mister Duncan. That's what's going on. The, 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 the camera <laughs> is is getting revenge on these awful puns. Uh, I don't I don't know what that is. <laughs> what's happened to us did it just suddenly do it by do, itself do you remember when they used to show old films that were were made in cinemascope and they used to put them on the screen and that's what people would look like at the end maybe you need to switch the camera off and on again how bizarre i i have I've no <laughs> that has never happened ever oh that's never happened ever I d what's happened to what us what is going on mr duncan i mean yes i'll agree i look slimmer i like that can can you still hear us? Please tell us. Can you still hear us? How weird. Bad I've, quality, you are correct. Bad quality is not the word. I You've got 30 seconds younger in a second. Uh, we don't know what's happening. Can you hear us? Hello. <laughs> can you hear us? Please tell us if you can hear let's, us. Let's see if I can put this right. That, that, uh, that is one of the reasons why I was late today, you see. Let's just see if... We can put this right. Uh, well, there's there's peat burning in Moscow. How strange. According to Andy. It's still not right. There are fires uh, all over the world at the moment, aren't there? I mean, Australia have had some very bad fires um, because of global war. Well, I mean... Because of global warming. They're saying it's because of global warming. Well, uh, but what, they have what had some global warming is, is causing everything to burst into flames. Well, it's just causing a general rise in temperature, which is, mm. which is drying out vast areas and causing fires. They've had bad fires in the Amazon forests. I can't uh, believe we're carrying on as normal. Yes, we can. People uh, can still hear us. So thank you for that. Yes. So if, we'll carry on talking, even though we look odd. I don't know what. Let me just uh, see if I can sort this out. That's, this has never happened before. This is something that's never, ever happened. We've got a camera fault. Maybe your camera's uh, going wrong, Mr Duncan. Well, something's happening. 
Uh, it's just one thing I do know something is happening and we look a lot thinner I like this look it's like it's like a before and after of some slimming pill I, 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 <laughs> I, I <laughs> if you switch the camera off and on again would people still be able to hear us yes I'm going to switch the camera off but I don't, th I don't think it is that. I think this is something a little bit more serious, to be honest. We don't want anything serious, Mr. Duncan. No. I don't want to have to buy a new phone. Uh, sorry, a new camera. Oh, Dana says, I like this effect. I'm not sure if I do. Maybe if we, if we, if we go sideways, you see, I think we will look normal. <laughs> well, uh, while you go and do that, I'll talk about the weather. Yes. And global warming. Yes, <laughs> because... we'll, we'll have some more puns. Yes, something in the setting, Bella. You could be right, but I don't know that this is this is something. This is uncharted territory. So if you say uncharted territory, it means that uh, it's something that we've never seen before and, and never experienced before. A bit like coronavirus. That's Oof. uncharted territory. Uh, that Mr. Duncan, can you hear Mr. Duncan? Because he doesn't want me to mention the word. Now we've disappeared, but I'll carry on talking uh, while Mr. Duncan tries to adjust the camera. Uh, we may have to carry on uh, doing this live stream from uh, Mr. Duncan's mobile phone. But yes, we're, no, I'm still looking weird, Mr. Duncan. Oh. I'm still looking very odd. <laughs> we may have to finish early. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know what this is. I have no idea what this is. It's strange. Can I've never switched to another device. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm, I don't I don't live in a camera shop, unfortunately. I would love to have another device. But wait there a second. Oh, this is very. We can only apologize for this technical hiccup. Very strange. Uh, normal service will resume, hopefully shortly. But yes, there have been wildfires uh, all over the world. Uh, Australia, I think I mentioned, is anyone from Australia watching? Because they've had some very bad uh, fires in Australia. Um, and in fact, they've they've stopped reporting them now because of, of, of the pandemic. But it's still going on. Uh, uh, bad fires in Indonesia, they have a lot of those causing a lot of smoke that's drifting across to other countries. Um, where There's fires everywhere. We get them in this country. And in fact, now... In the uh, in the evening, we're experiencing temperatures of 20 degrees at night, which is there. Are, these are extremely rare events which never happen uh, or they've only happened. I think they gave some statistics the other night uh, on television telling us how many times in the last 30 years we've had temperatures of over 20 degrees tropical temperatures overnight in the UK and it's extremely rare I think it was about you know once every 10 years or something like that and we're going to get three or four of those in the space of one month so it's very unusual now I'm not sure what I can talk about at the moment because Mr Duncan's trying to sort out the technical issues and I'm still well, I've frozen on the screen now, I think, Mr. Duncan, if you can hear me. He's gone into his studio to try and sort out what's going on. Uh, I'm looking normal on the camera. Oh, I'm back, Mr. Duncan. It's working. <laughs> Whatever you've done, Mr. Duncan, you've fixed the problem. Hurrah and hooray for Mr. Duncan. <laughs> you see, he's a very he's a very technical wizard. He's a technical wizard. If you say someone's a technical wizard, it means they can perform miracles and, and they get on very well with technology. Uh, you would not describe myself as a technical wizard because I don't really have much affinity with technology. If you have affinity with something, it means that you like it, you're drawn to it, you're attracted to it. Uh, Mr Duncan is coming back, I can hear him. He's restored normal service. I'm the best. I'm the best. I fixed it. What was it, Mr. Duncan? I just pulled everything out. <laughs> I just I just took all of cables and I just went <clears throat> and then I put them all back in again. <laughs> well, it was a very strange occurrence. That's what they do at TV stations. When anything goes wrong at a TV station, 
there is at least one engineer grabbing all of the cables and then he just pulls them all out and then puts them all back in again trust me that's exactly what happens i think the delay <sighs> has reduced you know i think there is less of a delay on here now because already people are saying it's back to normal and it was only like 10 seconds later oh okay i think something's happened the delay is less than it used to be okay i don't know uh, yes mr duncan is multi-talented it's true uh, uh, but we don't know what happened there maybe we'll find out later multi-talented m Yes. And are we now going to play the sentence game? I think uh, the puns have, have, have sort of run their course. Yes. If you say I, something's run its course, it means it's come to an end. I'm all punned out. Well, what was, was, yeah, I've got a good one here, you see. No, we were still quite far behind with the... When well, I asked... But the live chat seems to be... Yeah. The what? live chat is, is, is ahead of, of the video. Of the, of that, the, that's physically impossible. Not, well, well, somebody said back to normal well before that just happened anyway okay. when i asked my dog how his day was when i humorous when i asked my dog how his day was what did he reply with he replied with he said it was rough <laughs> that deserves a laugh okay uh, so yes we've, so, we've, we've got a very, we've got a very tough audience they're, so a, they're very hard to please let's explain that shall we so a dog well <laughs> do i need to explain it yes i think so when i asked my dog how his day was he said it was rough well of course rough means difficult difficult a bad day but also the sound of a dog when it barks is rough you see so when I asked my dog how his day was, he said it was rough. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Yes, yes. OK, one more. One more. The local judge loves the sound of his own voice. The local judge. Loves so, the sound of his own voice. So a judge is somebody that uh, sits in a court. Yes, and he, uh, he, he makes judgments. Makes judgments, tell people whether they're uh, what sentence they're going to get for the crime they committed. Yes. Assuming the uh, the jury uh, found them guilty. Yes. The local judge loves the sound of his own voice. Which, of course, I've, I'm showing the answer now. Okay. He really likes giving long sentences. Oh. Oh, you know, that's a... <laughs> Mr. Duncan. I think that's funny. The local judge loves the sound of his own voice. He really likes giving long sentences. <laughs> so a long sentence is obviously, you know, you 25 years prison mm, for yes. you. So the sentence is how many years you have to go to jail for or to prison. You've done something bad. So the judge will give a sentence. But also if he likes talking a lot. He will use long sentences, you see. So that is the pun. And the reason why I wanted to show that one is it segues. It links very nicely into the sentence game. You see, you see what I did there? Why did I bother? The best joke I have ever heard. It is. I think it is the best joke but we've ever heard. Why did that come up within 10 seconds? Very quickly. I don't know. Anyway, never mind. Well, maybe that was the reply to the previous joke. <laughs> I don't think so. OK. Anyway, at least we fixed our technical problem. Our technical problem has been put right. <laughs> oh, uh, Chandra Prakash says, where are your masks? Uh, that's the question. Uh, we don't need masks because we're in the same household. Uh, so uh, we live in the same house. Mm. So therefore we are a, a, a bubble as mm. they're describing it here a social bubble we live in a uh, bubble and i've been here ever since the lockdown and uh, and uh, 30 years before although you were <laughs> at your mother's yesterday he was with his mother yesterday did you wear your mask yesterday uh yes i did with yeah. your mum yep yep i need proof of that i need to see a photograph with you and your mother with yesterday's daily paper 
and, and so I can verify and make sure that you were both wearing your masks because I don't think they were. So different countries have got different rules mm. at the moment depending on how serious the situation is with the virus. So in the UK at the moment, if you well, if you live in the same household, yes. And well, then, you're not going to wear masks in the same house, are you really? No, well, uh, if you uh, live together, you're, you're really together anyway. Chandra Prakash probably wasn't aware that we live in the same house. We do. So therefore, we don't need to have masks on. We share the uh, same space. Or maybe it's a joke. Oh. Maybe uh, Chandra Prakash thinks that we need to wear masks to protect hmm. our viewers. Maybe some people think you are wearing a mask. Maybe they think it's Halloween. I mean, I can put one on <laughs> if you want. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Shall we play the sentence game? Oh, before I, I completely lose the will to live. I'm getting very hungry, by the way, Mr. Uh, me Dunbar. too. Four o'clock. We, we, we will spend about 15 minutes playing the sentence game. Right. Mm. Now. Ding, 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 ding. The sentence game is coming up. Are you looking forward to it? I was about 15 minutes ago. It's a very strange day today. We've had some weird moments of time today, including the equipment going wrong, going completely wrong. We had some technical problems, but of course, me being the professional, the expert that I am, Oh, I was enjoying that too much. A little bit too much there. So the sentence game is here without any more delaying. So Mr. Mr. Steve, stop delaying us. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> the sentence game, it's very easy to play. Probably much easier than the puns. Using the letter M. We are using the letter M. M for mother. M for mischievous oh i think sometimes mr steve is a little mischievous and if you don't know what the sentence game's about if you're new to this you will soon pick it up m for marriage getting married you see you might get married two people will join together in holy matrimony there's another m matrimony anyway mr duncan faster faster i'm dilly dallying here we go then. Here's the first sentence game for today using the letter M. I read the something, but it something no sense. Mm. So you've got to find two words beginning with M. One is six letters long mm. and one is five letters mm. long. That's what that means in brackets underneath. Mm. I read the something, but it something no sense. Yes, I read the something six letters. I nearly gave the answer away then, Mr. Duncan, yeah. to at least the second word. Why does that not surprise me? That does not surprise me at all. Are you OK? I think I've got one of them, Mr. Duncan. OK, then. I read the something, but it something no sense. And of course, a lot of people are looking forward to seeing my cock today. My cock is ready. I've been I've been stroking it to keep it <laughs> keep them, should, uh... to keep it calm because it gets very excited sometimes it runs around the garden and it tries to <laughs> tries to peck, peck the other birds. Yes, yeah, so uh, one or two people are asking what? to explain. So that's it. You have to find two words today. You have to find two words beginning with M and. Uh, in brackets the first word is six letters long the second word is five letters long hmm. uh, so yes I read the something but it something no sense uh, 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 message I'm afraid has got seven letters oh I see yes oh we're getting some some guesses coming through message yes unfortunately that doesn't have the right amount of num uh, letters i mean that would fit the sentence but we want a word with six letters we have to be precise we have to follow these rules 
without rules you have anarchy oh yes magazine I'm afraid is too many can you see on in brackets underneath down there mm. six so that five. tells you the number of letters for the first word and for the second word six uh, so the missing word is six and five letters so magazine is is would fit the sentence but it has to be six letters I'm afraid yes So message doesn't fit either. Sarah says, guys, I am so boring. I think you mean bored. Are you saying that you're boring? Or no, are you I, saying <laughs> I think they're saying they feel bored. Oh, well, fine. But we'll liven things up. We'll liven things yes. up. Yes. Well, at the end of the live stream, you see, Mr. Steve will take all of his clothes off. Yes and he will do something very interesting with some of the apples from this tree so look forward to that at the end of today's live stream Steve will be naked and he will be doing something with these apples mm. look forward to that mm. yes a couple of answers no, correct I, answers no I'm getting bored <laughs> <laughs> waiting, waiting well, for there's the lots of answers coming through so maybe you know that's what I'm saying people are reacting a lot faster than they normally do I don't think it's 30 seconds anymore mr. Duncan it is well something's going on I'll tell you because the answers came up virtually straight away um, right so yeah there's loads of answers here look mr. Duncan loads of them okay uh, the answer is coming in a moment I have got mr. Cockerell is ready He's down there. He will spring forth and he will let us all know that the answer is on its way. Come on, Mr. Cockerell, do your thing. That's going to excite the uh, the other animals that we have very close to us, Mr. Duncan. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Beatrice was the first to get two words that fit that sentence. That yes. is correct. Yes. Whether they're the same ones that you've got, yes. I don't know. But well, so what? What are the words? Beatrice says manual mm -hmm. and makes. Yes. Well, well, a lot of people got makes correct. Yes. Well, you never know. It might. It might be correct. You see, uh, it, it certainly fits. So you definitely yes. uh, have got that right. The answers are. Bing. Guess oh. what? You are right. You well got done, it. Beatrice. Well done, Beatrice. You got it right. Correct on. You got it on the nose. If you get something on the nose, it means you get it right. You are you are correct, completely, uh, completely correct. Tomic Tomic has uh, instead of using manual, he's used the word memoir, mm. which yes, you mm. could make you could read someone's memoir. That is a six-letter word beginning with M. Yes, congratulations to you too. Yes, good. Just because Mr. Duncan chose those words doesn't mean there aren't alternatives. Integra asks manual. A manual is something that you use to to guide you if you are operating a piece of equipment. So maybe you, you come to use something, maybe a piece of equipment, a tool, and you don't know how to use it. So you will read the manual. A manual is a guide. That shows you how to work something or maybe you have to construct something maybe you have to put something together and you read the oh let's have a look what's it say there how do I fit that thing to that yes yes oh, how yes, do I so how do I to... work how do I work this computer how do I use this machine I need to read the manual and sometimes manuals make no sense they are very hard to understand the instructions are not clear yes and that's why we do that can we have the next question please yes you can here is the next question on today's sentence game the sentence game is what we're playing now i don't have enough something to something my car oh 
I don't have enough something to something my car so first word has got to be five letters mm. and the second word has got to be eight letters beginning with M mm. so mm. Uh, yes let's see I'm seeing how quickly it takes people to to answer uh, I don't have enough something to something my car I'm just practicing my new Instagram look do you like it no that's what you do you see if you if you take photographs on Instagram you have to look like this was that 30 seconds we've just had two answers already stay with the program mr. Duncan. Oh, sorry sorry I was just we've had two answers already was that 30 seconds do you think 30 seconds I don't know I'm not timing it to be honest I'm not looking at how long it Ooh, takes yes mm, uh, yes a lot of people have come up with the first word oh okay then I don't have enough something to something my car hmm well, well yes and uh, yeah we have some correct answers coming through now yes some correct answers we coming do through. indeed some correct answers as we will be going in five minutes this is your five minute warning for us going away <laughs> your five minute warning is now flashing on the screen <laughs> I can't wait until one minute <laughs> You, you know what I mean yes you do I can't wait until one minute why not <laughs> use I your use your imagination so this is five minutes oh I see see five minutes yes I can't wait until one minute well two would be rude as well two would be rude, two would be rude. but only in this country but yes. there would be another one which is uh, rude depends which finger you use to display one yes exactly which was the the basis of the joke I don't have enough something to something my car we will we will give the answer in a moment I oh, want to've got lots of answers already lots of answers coming through we have we've got two people who have both correctly uh, got answers and one of them slightly different to the other oh and one person's got uh, yeah so, well, yeah. well done. Here we go then. Are you ready for the answer? Mr. Cockerell, do your thing. Game's off. We can't put any more suggestions in. That's it. We have to be strict. <laughs> well, Tomic was first to get uh, two correct answers. Oh, good. So the answer we're looking for in this particular sentence game is... Bing! Oh, yes money well done Tomek you were on the money a lot of people got money so well done well done for that you were on the money uh, on the money means you are right you are correct you've made the right guess you can be on the nose and on the money it means you are right you are correct uh, Chandra Prakash has put modifying uh, which is an eight letter word beginning with M but grammatically that wouldn't be correct mm. You would have to say modify. I don't have enough money to modify my car. You mm. couldn't say modifying. Uh, grammatically, that wouldn't be correct. But yes. Well, well, but that's good. Time, but modify. Yours... Yes. It, but that that actually, I like that that answer though. Modify. I don't have enough money to modify to to make improvements or enhancements to my car but that's only a six letter word but that's only six letters you see so it's and we wanted an eight letter word it's not enough it's not enough uh, letters I'm afraid I'm sorry don't shout at me you would say uh, if you were actually working on your car and changing it then you would say I am modifying my car modifying uh, but that's where you yeah that doesn't quite fit there yeah. to maintain mm. any other suggestions uh, I'm just looking to that fireworks mr. Duncan it is very strange I just heard fireworks at this time of the day in at the, August at this time of the year yes anyway shall we have one more I'm gonna squeeze one more in <laughs> as the uh, vicar said to the actress <laughs> I'm gonna squeeze one more in 
Ah, this is the last one and then we Ooh. are going this is a silly one I, I thought we would end it with a silly one so this is a bit silly so don't take this too too seriously this is just a silly one silly this is silly not serious we have to make sure you see people realize because one person might be offended by this and become so outraged that they will go into the street and they will tear their clothing off and turn into the incredible hulk and then they will find us and they will throw us in the air really high it is something to something people to recycle old something again the first word has got to be seven letters mm -hmm. the second word has got to be four letters yes. and the last word has got to be seven letters yes. all beginning with m and a, as a clue there is a clue here m. it's something silly the last letter is something the last word sorry is something silly so think of something silly that, that you might be asked to recycle think of something silly it is something to something people to recycle old something. I've just realized there is a word that fits in there that is very rude. Maybe somebody will come up with it. Yes, there is. So, no, it's not that one. And of course, it doesn't begin with M either. But there is a word that does fit in there. And when I thought about it, it made me laugh quite a lot. I wish I could say what it was. It is... It is something to something people to recycle old something. Think of something silly that, that they might say you must recycle this thing. Something silly. Is this another pun mixed is, in with the sentence? Game? It is not. It is not that one. No. Well, we've got no right answers yet. Ah. It is something to something people to recycle old something. Mm, I think we've got uh, one person has put a, at least a correct answer for the first two. Oh, the first two. I have Maybe. a feeling. I have a feeling that many people will get that or those. But recycle old. Think of something silly that you might be asked mm. to recycle. Beginning with M. M. For M. Old. <laughs> well, I won't say what I'm thinking of. Uh... It isn't mothers. Well, that's what I was thinking of. Mothers. Re to recycle Re old mothers. Recycling your old mother. <laughs> so mothers is a seven letter word beginning with M. I don't think we can have that one. No. No. And it doesn't really make sense. Oh, Vitas. Vitas has an interesting one. Where's that? Oh, Vitas yes. is coming up. Yes. That's good. That's some good answers there. Interesting. But think of something silly. Something silly that they might ask you. Because there are some strange oh. things that we are asked to Very recycle. Massive. That's not quite right. It's not. You'd need an S on the end of there, which mm. would make it an eight-letter word. That's it. Oh. So machine would be recycle old machines you would have to say yeah you'd have to use the plural version of that's the word it there. which would be too many letters if you'd say to recycle an old if you'd put an in between recycle mm. then, then you could use the singular that's it because you're denoting one thing but in that sentence that would have to be you'd have to use a plural word in yes. there so you'd probably need an s on the end of the word mm very nice it is uh, something to something people to recycle old and it it's it's not mothers so people are, are getting the first and second letters but we, the people are struggling with the the last one but yes. think of something funny something, something silly. funny silly that you, you that you would not normally recycle they used to is it true that they still ask us to recycle our old eggshells because your mother had a little container, didn't they? Yes, they gave her. Did. They gave her a recycling box, and it was a small box. And they said, "This is, this is to recycle your eggshells." Yes. Who is, who is recycling their eggshells, and why? 
<laughs> how are they reusing them are they putting them back together and putting other chickens inside is that is that how they're doing it I don't know let me the answer is coming up in a moment and then we are going we are not hanging around we will be getting out of here because Steve is going to make a cup of tea and the Sun has just come out so, so far no correct answers for the last word Mr. Mm. Duncan. Uh, I'm afraid mm. Here we uh, go then. But uh, yes, go on. Sound <laughs> your cock. <laughs> For the last time, we will take a look at my lovely cock. <laughs> is that ever not going to be funny? <laughs> that, well, uh, that is always going to be funny. Unicornia was the unicornia. Well done. Was the first person to get two of the words. Okay. Two of the words, but so far. Uh, and uh, Alessandro at the same time also got uh, uh, the same two words. Mm. Uh, unless, of course, you copied just what Unicorn had said. <laughs> I'm only joking. I like the use I'm of joking. Muppets. M U P P E T S. You see this? Muppets. Muppets. So, well done old, to Unicorn and Alessandro. Old, old Muppets. Or puppets, of course. Maybe you have to recycle your old puppets. I like that. Maybe they can take the arms and the legs and the eyes out of the puppets well, and, that, they, and they can transplant them into other puppets. Well, Unicornia, yes. I mean, that does fit. If you've got some old Muppets, then uh, it would be madness. Would it be madness to recycle them? Probably. Mm. You'd probably want to keep them. It'd be very silly. Uh, but it fits. Mm. It fits. Even if it doesn't quite make sense, but it does fit. It fits right in there. Ooh, it, uh, does. it does. If you've got, uh, it would be because actually, if you've got, if you were, yeah, that does make sense because okay. to actually recycle an old muppet would be silly. It would be silly. It would be silly. But I like it. I still like it. Here's the answer. Then hang on a minute. One. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, Lil. What? Uh, well, monkeys, Lil has put. Recycle your old monkeys. If you, if, Yeah, again, that would be silly. That is silly. It's very silly. And uh, we want silly. OK, then. But what's the answer you came up with, Mr. Dunk? The answer that I, I came up with, I made it all on my own using my brain, is... Bing! Matches. <laughs> yes. Wouldn't OK, that, yes. That, that would be silly. That would be silly because... A match is a very small piece of wood mm. and to ask you to recycle it would be silly. It would. Uh, but why would you have an old match? I don't know. Yes. So old matches. So when you light a match, it burns and then it just becomes useless. So why would you recycle old matches? Oh, so you've matches? got... Yes. Matches. You strike the match and you've got just a little bit of wood left yes. with a black bit on yes. the end but they might think that all those little tiny pieces of wood that are left on the match you could you could you could recycle that so it would be madness it would be madness wouldn't it it, it would be crazy but maybe one day we, we will be told that we have to recycle matches <laughs> we break maybe you just break the end of the match that that hasn't that yes. hasn't been burnt <laughs> So there we go. <laughs> and it's not mothers. Uh, you could have put mothers in there. That would be a bit silly. But uh, <laughs> Mr. Duncan, I don't know what Mr. Duncan's laughing at. Actually, I think I do know what Mr. Duncan's laughing at. And I'm hoping, please, that he doesn't say why. Uh, so I think I'll go before... Uh, I think we heard it. <laughs> I think we'll go before... Uh, no, right, yes. So well done to... Everyone, what? Yes, there's those cows. It's the cows. They make all sorts of strange noises. Can you hear them? I can hear the cows in the background. Matches. It was not easy. Thank you, Zazika. I'm sorry about that. It wasn't easy enough. But I just thought it was a fun one. Funny. It made me laugh, you see, when I thought about it. The idea of recycling matches yes. that you've used. And then you have to put them in a little box. And then you have to send them away to be recycled. But it might happen one day. And this is where you heard it first. Yeah, because believe it or not, in some parts of this country, 
you are given a container by the council to recycle your eggshells. I'm not joking. I don't understand. What what are you doing with your old eggshells? Well, most people would, would just sort of put them on a compost heap or just throw yes. them in the bin. But wh what are you uh, recycling them into? That's what yes. I want to know. I need to know what what are you recycling your eggshells into? What are you doing? Are they are they what? Uh, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's why Mr. Duncan came up with that silly idea. Uh, right, it's time to go. Oh, is it time to go? I wonder what was happening. It's time then. for me to go. And okay. time for you to wrap up. Yes, I'm wrapping up. Show. It's time to say goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed today's unusual live stream. Why am I talking like that? I have no idea. So we had a few technical problems today. For some reason, <laughs> during today's live stream, Mr. Steve and myself, we became very thin, which, to be honest with you, I quite like the look of. Yes. I like the look of that. I like a very thin Mr. Duncan. You know, you know, I'm just delaying. You know why I'm delaying? Why? Because I know that the next time we're here will be my birthday. So I, I don't want this to end. I want this to carry on because the next time, Steve, the next time I'm here, I'll be another year older. And so will I. What? That doesn't make any sense. Well, every day we're another year older, aren't yes, we? Yes, but I'm on about the birthday. It's my birthday. That, that's what I'm trying to say. It's my birthday on Wednesday. I'm not looking forward to it because I will be approaching the, the, the hill. I can see the hill ahead of me. Beatrice eats eggshells because, of course, they contain calcium, so it's good for your bones. You just put the eggshell in your mouth and crunch. Or do you, do you grind it? Maybe you use a grinder. <laughs> it's probably a very good way of getting calcium in your diet. Particularly yes. if you're a vegetarian, you don't drink milk. Maybe but you can anyway. just eat the whole egg and just swallow it with the shell still on. <laughs> just swallow. Tomek says, mm. buy old timer. <laughs> is that supposed to make me feel better? So an old timer is a, is, is a, is a person who's old. Yes. <laughs> I think we've, if, we've uh, gathered that. Anything with old in the name. Right. Bye, everyone. I'm off to make a cup of tea and a couple of tea cakes. Yes. And uh, I haven't had any, anything to eat since breakfast, so I'm quite tired. But it does make you uh, mentally, I feel sharper. Really? you not eating, yes. It's only taken uh, 30 years. <laughs> bye bye, everyone. And see you maybe on Wednesday. The next time, well, you're going to be here on my birthday, I hope. Where are you going? Are you leaving me on my own? Well, Steve's oh, going to go on the live stream. Oh, I see. Well, I will be here on Wednesday. Normal time, don't forget. That's the only thing that will be normal on Wednesday. It's my birthday on Wednesday. So this is the last time we will you will see me with Mr. Steve at this age. Every second of this live stream, we have been one older than this exact same second. One older. Twelve uh, uh, 12 months ago so we're always a year older at every point we're always a year older i'm a year older now and now that doesn't make any sense you can't be a year older I you am. might be a minute older compared to compared to exactly a year ago that doesn't make any sense it does it does make sense mr you Duncan. can be a minute older no compared to this exact time exact same moment 12 months ago to the minute yes. i'm a minute older but you normally have a, a second older but you not normally signify that with a certain uh, yes but the point i'm date. making is you're all you could you're always 12 months older than you were at this exact same time 12 months ago yes <laughs> I, it, it's difficult for some people to grasp that concept of course it is uh, you know it takes someone with a higher intelligence to be able to put these ideas across well this is <laughs> This might be the most lackluster way of ending a live stream ever in the history of YouTube. Yes, Nisa, I may well be here on Wednesday. Yes, so I will be older on Wednesday. Mr. Steve will be older. You will be older. However, I might be the only person on the live stream on Wednesday who is actually celebrating their birthday. Well, maybe not. Yeah, well, maybe not. But at this moment, <laughs> it would appear that the only person is going to be me you see if anyone is uh, celebrating their birthday on wednesday please let us know show us your birth certificate to prove 
uh, that is the case, and uh, we will all celebrate together. Okay. Bye bye. See you later. See you later, in the Steve. Kitchen. Go and make a cup of tea, and uh, I will wrap up. It's time to say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed this really, really weird, strange live stream. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, I don't know what the hell that was. I really don't. And guess what? I'm thinking the same thing as well. See you on Wednesday. Yes, it is my birthday on Wednesday. I don't know why. I don't feel great about it, to be honest. I don't want to be another year older, but unfortunately, it has to happen. Thank you very much, Vitas. Thank you, Sandra. Luis Mendez. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you, Anit. Anna. Anna. Thank you very much to Authentic Max. Thank you very much for your company today. I will be with you on Wednesday from 2 p.m. UK time. I have two days to prepare for my birthday. <laughs> I might also be a little bit drunk on Wednesday. We will see what happens. And of course, you know what's coming next. Until the next time we meet here on YouTube, this is Mr. Duncan in the birthplace of English saying, take care, stay safe. And I will see you on Wednesday. See you 2 p.m. UK time on Wednesday. And of course, you know what's coming next. Yes, you do. Until then. Ta-ta for now.